But that garden is essentially my story of hope and healing. I remember this was 2004. I had this bruising, a little bruise mark on uh, the back of my shoulder. And it, it didn't seem to be going away. And I finally went to a dermatologist and he biopsied it and the phone rang. He said, well, I'm just gonna let you know you have lymphoma. Uh, I said, what? He goes, you have lymphoma. Ted initially had a rare lymphoma, both in lymph nodes and in the skin. Over the years, it transformed into a more aggressive lymphoma. I've been through a cycle of treatments and progressions of the illness. In 2013, my lymphoma had transformed to a more aggressive lymphoma. I could start to see the swelling coming back and the chemo didn't work. Probably the most alarming scan I had over the years was in late 2019. And Steve said the scan, we're seeing some progression. This is serious. He was treated with CAR T cells where you actually take the immunologic cells from the patient's own blood. You genetically manipulate them so they can attack the individual's cancer. And it's really a transfusion of those cells that then go to the cancer and destroy it. After I got the infusion, I'm in my room and I look over my shoulder and I see the beret. And I'm like, Steve? Right in the thick of the cartoon thing. And I just looked at him. I said, Steve, if I get through this, <laughs> I'm gonna come back here and we're gonna do something together very special. That's gonna help a lot of people. He said to me, we are gonna cure this disease together. There were moments that both of us were tearful, everything he went through, and then truly tearful when we saw the imaging studies showing that he was in a remission. At the point of introducing CAR-T, if it didn't work, he had a limited life expectancy. And I'm so proud of the fact that City of Hope is in the forefront of CAR-T therapy. And as a result of him being here, uh, we were able to administer the latest uh, treatment available. Ted's gift uh, will allow us to speed the development of new therapies across the entire spectrum of cancers. It will bring all the great talent of City of Hope together around new therapeutic approaches. Hope and healing. That's what this project's gonna bring. It's very, very exciting and having been the beneficiary of this research and to see the next level, more and more people, they can get back their life and their immune system and really live. That's back to life.